Hello there, welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Ultra Sun for the Nintendo 3DS. Um, last time I got a bunch of totem stickers and stuff from in Howley City. However, I forgot there were more, actually more, a little more items to collect. Such as down here at the bottom right hand corner of the of the map. Down here is TM49 Echoed Voice. Oh, darn it. Magnemite. And I caught a Magnemite off screen. Darn it, I forgot to switch out. Abra. Bug up. Darn it. is quite fast for a grub. And down here down here to the southern part is Harley's Marine. You've got a real sweet kind of face, don't you? I bet old ladies like to give you candy. To the left of the building is a totem, another totem sticker. Attack power is the key to anything. If you use an X attack in battle, you can defeat a very tough opponent. Here, I'll give you one to try for yourself. And I never actually used the X stuff before. An X attack will sharply raise your Pokemon's attack stat. Helping you defeat most other Pokemon hands down. Defense is everything in battle. If you use an X defense, your opponent's attacks will practically bounce right off you. Here, I'll give you one to try for yourself. An X defense will sharply raise your Pokemon's defense stat, letting you take most of any attack without breaking a sweat. An ocean around Alola looks so huge and endless, but thanks to the great fairy system, you can get to the next island in no time. Ah, 
Ah, Alola, land of my dreams. Finally, I am here to see you. Alola is great, isn't it? After all, there are there are lots of different Pokemon that will let you ride on their backs. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, but the ship is undergoing regular maintenance now. We hope to be underway again soon. I'm sure the signs there are in Japanese. The... They... Yeah, I wonder when they're ever going to fix this. It's way more convenient to be able to use the vending machine anytime you want to. Uh, then what's the point? Okay, to the main adventure. After... Wait for me, Oichi! Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you... You're moving on your own... You're moving on to your first trial? You're going to Verdant Cavern? I read something in an old book once. It said that the island challenges were once a journey that made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola, like Tapu Koko. The people in Iki Town said that Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we could meet Tapu, Tapu Koko once more, do you think we wouldn't find the answer to why it saved you and Nebi that day, Oichi? Oh, yes. Please take these. They are called revives. If you use one on a Pokemon that has fainted, it will recover and feel a little better. Oichi. Good luck on your first trial. I will hope that it goes well for you. Direct two. There, Oichi. I've got this ornery creature calmed again for now. Want to try giving him a little pat again? That's the only way he'll get used to you. Come on, Oichi. Try showing Toros a bit of affection. It on the nose. Hmm, Toros didn't seem to care for that. Catching on his four links. Grab it by the horns. Maybe old Toros here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you. And yet, it still seems to me like Tauros wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Ha! Huh. What? What? You want to play tag now? The Mele Mele Kahuna never loses, friend! <laughs> Route 2.
careful out here, young trainer. Haven't you seen the way the grass shakes on Route 2? That rustling grass hides a Pokemon that is dying to pounce on some easy trainer target. But battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. They sometimes drop items after battle. Hmm? Atkins. The user get ranges and targets the By dislocating its jaw, it can swallow prey larger than itself. After a meal, it curls up and rusts. I'll be using Peppy anymore. Welcome, trial goer. Think you can handle the ordeal of defeating a beauty?
missed. Wow, wow, I bet you can finish any trial. Rotom Dex, cool, cool. You become more friendly with Rotom by touching it or answering questions, right? Many trainers visit our cemetery where Pokemon rust to pay our, their respects. Free Schooler Pistons full power! It's good for kids to experience their own journeys, but running away without even word to your parents is another thing entirely. I tried to set that boy and mine straight, but when I did, I was the one who got beat. Wow. Sleeping on a stranger's bed. Yeah, this little bed didn't do anything. the cemetery. Well, oh, this music is happy and upbeat for cemetery. Uh, co stark contrast to generation one's or red, blue, yellow, the lavender town. I come when I come to the Pokemon Cemetery, it's no good because I get so mournful. Yeah, the music is upbeat and happy in stark contrast to Lavender Town. Uh that A lot of longtime Pokemon players seem to have 
horror vibes regarding that music. I guess Game Freak doesn't want to relieve that. Uh, I'll try to hold back my tears. It's a battle, a battle! What are you doing in the cemetery, little kid? I'm using a happy mini and uh, to boot. Trainer, what's throw a ball with the Y button mean? What's it mean? Oh, didn't did my oh, it's a another poke finder. Pokemon. Oops. Oh, it's up there. It's a picky picky. At first, I thought it was a ghost Pokemon. Oops.
Why you just leave? Use the moves it was so good at. You're challenged by Pokemon breeder Ikue Pikachu. And this game, Pikachu is the only Pokemon who has a at, who has a voice from the anime. I guess it's because of how popular. Pikachu is. Right where Pikachu rests, I address it using its words. Wait, so I was fighting an undead Pikachu? What? You found TM100 confide. kind of Pikachu I was fighting then? Another side wave for foul play will go down. Oh, darn it. I accidentally defeated it.
Ew, I caught a drift loo. Drifloon, the balloon Pokemon. Its round body is stuffed with souls and expands each time it leads someone away. And a Zubat. I never understood why Zubat was and its evolutions were f poison flying type. I mean, none of the Pokemon en entries I've ever seen indicate why it's po part poison type. It has no eyeballs, so it can't see. It checks its surroundings via the ultrasonic waves it emits from its mouth. Does it for the cemetery? Uh, is there any stickers? Um, no. Okay. Is there anything down there? No. We're right by the sea, that's right. Welcome to my wonderful seaside motel. My crab brawler sure is something, ain't he? He naps passerby to bring them to me so I can send them down by the bay. Though he's actually been a little too good at his job, so I've got no vacant rooms to offer you. But that doesn't mean you've come for nothing. Here, follow me this way. I think that does it for this episode. Next time on Pokemon Ultra Sun, I will be going to the beach with the old and talk to the old man. See you later. Bye bye.